I'm Annette Abinacho Mlema. I work for the International Livestock Research Institute. I'm based in Addis Ababa and I work as a gender expert. In uh, LRA, I support two research programs and one bilateral project. The research programs include one is livestock and fish, and then the other one is hemitropics. And uh, one of the projects that I support is called Africa Rising, which is a USAID funded project. Under livestock and fish, I've been involved in uh, implementing the gender strategy, and we've uh, we established the gender initiative. And basically, this initiative was to consolidate the gender we work we do under the program to make sure that uh, we maximize impact. Uh, under this gender initiative, I've supported uh, three research projects, two of which went to completion, and one of them has now been very successful. Under this initiative, what we've been trying to do is to help the non-gender scientists uh, integrate more components that help them capture sex or gender desegregated data and analyze this data from a gender perspective. Looking at the roles and responsibilities of men, women farmers, looking at the decision-making patterns among the men, women, the institutional factors and how they influence how things are done within the households, and uh, access to and control of resources. In some of the projects, the work has been successful, and some of the things that have helped us really succeed are the commitment of the principal investigators, and these are non gender scientists. The institutional support, commitment of leadership to integrate gender, the funding, it's important that we have funding to help us work on um, gender issues, which is normally considered as, as an add-on to the technical research. And uh, of course, we need open-minded people who are willing to adopt or learn new things besides the technical work. In this initiative, as uh, the non-gender scientists implemented their projects, we learned that actually men and women farmers can have different views on certain issues. And this evidence alone has made these non-gender scientists appreciate the importance of collecting sex disaggregated data, analyzing it, and using it in their projects. We've learned that, for example, in the Ethiopia case under the animal health projects, men and women farmers identified different priority diseases. Even the boys and girls that we spoke to had differences in what they considered were priority diseases. And this was basically tailored to the roles and responsibilities that they do in animal production, but also in animal health management. With the men and boys prioritizing neurological diseases because they're able to see them in the fields as they graze the animals, and women and girls prioritizing respiratory diseases because they're involved in cleaning the barns, so they're able to smell this bad odor from the animals. So this helped us, together with the non-gender scientists, appreciate that actually when you're designing interventions, they should be tailor-made, addressing specific needs of the men, the women, boys and girls and after this collection of the data we are going to implement interventions that will address the specific needs of men, the boys, specific needs of women and the girls.